Now yesterday, when I was doing all this talking about taking a break, um, I think I was probably misleading because I kept saying I'm going to take a break, I'm going to take a break. I didn't mean that I was going to take a break and stop building the, the model. I was thinking more in terms of I should take a break from all the videoing I'm doing, or at least cut back. I should have been saying I'm going to cut back in the videoing. I, I realized from the comments that people didn't really understand what I was saying, or what I meant. <laughs> you understood what I was saying, but you didn't know what I meant. I meant I wanted to just sort of cut back with, with all the videoing I'm, I'm doing here and, uh, and work on the model. Uh, yesterday, af after I uh, uh, finished uh, uploading yesterday's uh, uh, episode, which you, most of you got early, I'm sure, uh, I wanted to just let you know there was not going to be a, ma a main episode uh, last night like there usually is. So that's why I posted it early. Uh, yeah, I did come back to the model table. I did warm up my coffee, and I did come back, and I did sit down, and I left my camera in the in the computer room, which I did almost all of today. It's mid afternoon here in Winnipeg right now, by the way, and uh, I, I worked pretty pretty steady on it and, and enjoyed myself. Uh, I got uh, all those pieces that we had uh, we had uh, nipped off here in, in step uh, fourteen. Remember all those little mushroom vents and so on? They are now on. I'll, I'll swing the camera around later and show you. Uh, they're all glued. They're all painted. I, I, I sprayed yesterday and they're all painted and stuck on. And today I nipped off uh, a bunch more pieces. There are a total of 33 pieces here, new ones. These ones you saw from before. But there are 33 new pieces. Each one took uh, two pieces each. So that's 66 little pieces that I had to nip off and trim and glue together in a sort of a fashion and and then spray. So I've sprayed again today. Now I know normally I show that sort of thing, but that's the sort of thing I've got to cut back on or I am not going to get this this model done. Um, and I do want to get it done. Now I know I keep talking about how I enjoy excuse me, I enjoy videoing uh, as much as if not more than building the model, but you know I I, I do want to get this thing finished. Um, I'm not going to. I'm not going to show these pieces being stuck on here yet. Yet today, um, what I w do want to do though is uh, remember this thing here. Uh, I think we could try that out today. Oh, and I guess you notice I've uh, started my clock up again. At least the chime part of it. Um, just wait till it finishes. <laughs> okay, now I can hear myself. Now that's why I had it shut off before because it was uh, it just dis dis distracted me a lot from when I was trying to uh, video and, and describe anything. So that's why you haven't been hearing it for a while. But yesterday I sort of thought, hey, why don't I get that thing going again? Uh, then I forgot to shut it off just now. Uh, what was I going to say here? Oh yeah, we were going to take a look at this thing and see how it works. And uh, we'll use our CA medium here and we'll put it all together and I'll, I'll recompose everything. And then afterwards I'll, I'll show you those little pieces that are stuck down on the deck. Okay, yesterday what I did was I just used some CA thick to uh, glue the clothes peg onto this piece of wood. And uh, if you will remember, try and get it so you can see here. The uh, tube was supposed to go through uh oh you know what I'm gonna have to trim this off okay I had to drill it out and uh, then when I was drilling it out I broke the two the uh, clothes pin off of the stick so uh, I don't know if it was going to stay on there. I'm just going to be really careful here with it, I guess. Now, the idea is when we close that down, it should act as a valve to keep the CA glue from coming out the end here. Um, now, I, I have not actually tried this system yet, so 
if I'm going at it like I don't know what I'm doing, it's probably because I don't know what I'm doing here. Now, my elastic bands that I got ready. Okay. Now the idea is, now we don't want to do it on here. I'll uh, move in a little closer in a minute here. The idea is that when I squeeze on the tooth, on the toothpick, on the uh, clothes peg, it should allow the CA to flow down the tube. I mean that's that's the plan, right? Now, it could be that there's not enough CA in that bottle to uh, to run down, but I think that probably it's it's down here in the neck by now. Um, well, let's see what happens here. I'm going to open the valve, close the valve. Now let's see if it if that that little droplet. Well, let's get rid of it and see if any more comes. See now if we can just without putting the macro lens on. I don't want to be bothered doing that. Uh, just just squeeze it just very slightly here and see if we can get any more. Yeah, there we go. Another little tiny bit, and I've closed it off. Okay, I'm going to squeeze now. There. Yeah, this this actually works. It, in other words, it shuts it off. That that was the problem we had before. Remember, it was uh, it, it just kept coming and coming and coming. So this shuts it off. Okay, I'm going to squeeze it now. There, I gave it a little squeeze. It opened up. We got a little bit more. And uh, right now the valve is closed. Nothing's coming. Okay, it works. Okay, what I did do was I stuck a toothpick in the uh, in the clothes peg to uh, keep it open. Otherwise, what's going to happen is the uh, uh, it's going to be held tight, pinched off. In other words. And uh, I think that probably over time, it would it would stay in a closed position. It wouldn't allow the uh, CA to go through it. So now I know it probably doesn't look a whole lot different from the last time you saw it, but there's a lot of little pieces on here that I've got to be super careful now that I don't break off, like these ones right here. Those three. It used to be I could just sort of lay my manual across the top of the deck. I uh, can't do that anymore. And uh, then we've got a lot of these little mushroom vents. There's, what, uh, 23 or something of them? They just sort of blend in there. Uh, there's some way in the back here. You probably can't see them. Um, but they are there. So, so that's different from the last time you saw them. They weren't even painted the last time you saw them. So, uh, yeah, I have done something, and I uh, intend to keep on doing something. Um, I'm just not going to be taking out the time to video it like I used to. Sorry about that. My neighbor saw yesterday's episode, and he was saying, you know, if you don't like it the way it is, you can always go back to the way you were doing it. It doesn't mean you have to stay this way. And that's true. Um, but in the meantime, all I'm going to do is uh, just do little updates. Um, yeah. It appears that I could have got a little better paint job. Oh, no, that's the shadow. Okay, that's all right. Um... Yeah, so I'm gonna. I got 33 of these little pieces here, and uh, we're gonna, or we, or I'm gonna get them glued on, and uh, uh, tomorrow we'll have a look see, and we'll see how it went. In the meantime, <laughs> thanks for watching, and all being well, we will see you tomorrow.